majidis kanyena Ka, 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 thank you very much. Thank you. Now, thank you. Go and sit. In Uganda, in Uganda, they have got a word of wetavu, which means needs. In Rinyankoro, so this similar word, Ebietengo. So, those are. Those are equal. Wait, I will be a tango. But when you add on this other word, om cheno, it's not just material uh, lack. You may lack, as she was saying, you may lack medical care. You may lack, uh, I may have overgrown hair. What I need is a razor blade to, to shave my head. So, but if I have got a bald head, like me who has got a bald head, it's what That is no longer omicheno, because it is irreversible. <laughs> so this one now is ob oblemu. It's a disability. So if you are looking for people of disability, including the, the bald-headed, because their need is irreversible. You cannot kuchenura. You, can, you cannot solve that. So, emicheno is a need that is solvable, but is not solved because nobody has bothered to solve it. This is the Micheno. That's why it is different from Obwetavu, from Vietengo. So, therefore, the NRM party is a party which came with the principle of understanding people's Micheno, their needs, which. Uh, fellow Ugandans, uh, greetings. Uh, this evening I want to share with you uh, some of our uh, usual thoughts but to emphasize them love God with all your heart and all your might and love your neighbor as you love yourself he says if you get these two the rest will be easier for you to understand now this is the same issue when you, you you see what people are talking about leaders of this one you uh, however you hear people talking about roads about what all this uh, even if those assets are there but if you don't resolve the issue of homestead incomes you're wasting your time and you can address the issue of homestead incomes even when the infrastructure is not so good and you find people have income at one time when the video was cut off from Fort Porto there was no good road between Fort Porto and uh, and Wundubijo and that's when ADF attacked the Wundubijo people but when we went there to fight, we found the people had good incomes. Although the road was bad, they had cocoa, they had coffee, they had uh, upland rice, they had palm oil. All, all those could be transported <coughs> to Fort Porto, even on a bad road, because they are not so delicate. They were not such delicate pro products. Cocoa, if cocoa is dry and coffee is dry, even if the road is not so good, you, you will transport it and get money and palm oil. So therefore, I want again to emphasize the issue of homestead incomes, the issue of wealth creation. this part of the world there is also a cultural problem 
some of the people don't know our history very well. But this part of the, of, of the world is really mainly a place of wealth creators. In the villages, if you don't work for wealth, they call you a chirari, a vagabond. If you don't work for, 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 for wealth. This, was, this is our culture. So much so that by the time the Europeans came here, they found, found a lot of wealth here. This is a white man writing about you people, about your, your ancestors, wealth creators. That is, ah, you can see them there. Those are the Angkore cows. Some of the people have, have woken up <laughs> and they are, they are bringing them back. Now, during the colonial time, th this is our history. This is our culture. During the colonial times, this potential was either underutilized or distorted. You would you, you, underutilize it because it, by independence, the British were talking of the three C's and three T's. That was the economy of the colonial Uganda. Three C's meaning coffee, cotton, and copper, and the three T's tea, tobacco, and tourism. So then I, I asked them. But why do you only talk of three C's? How about the other products? How about uh, milk, those cows, those huge cows? Why, why, why were they not producing milk? Why was Uganda importing? In the 1950s at Ntungamo, in the Indian shops, I would see small tins of tinned condensed milk from Switzerland, from I don't know where, in Tungamo. Here we had cows, but we were importing milk. Maize. There was, there, there was some maize called maize meal from Kenya. Uganda was not growing maize, commercially. They had told us that these are, this is not a cash crop. The cash crop is tobacco, is tea, is coffee, but not, not milk, not maize, not bananas, not cassava, not millet. You can imagine. Somebody stops you from growing food and he encourages you to only grow beverages because coffee is not, is not a food. Coffee is not a food. Coffee is a beverage. It is uh, something to call Mereza. But it's not food. How, how, how can somebody stop me from growing food and he just encourages me to grow? I can grow beverages, but in addition to food. But somebody to tell me that I grow, I, I grow only beverages, I forget about food. You, you, you know that that person is not uh, your friend. So, the, the, uh, then cotton, uh, but why not? And we are importing all these other very crucial products, especially for the towns. In the rural areas, of course, people were eating their cassava, their, their bananas, but in the towns, maize meal from Kenya, uh, because the, the, the European whites were the ones growing the maize in Kenya. Uh, milk from I don't know where. Uh. So when we started our resistance as a student movement, we, we, we analyzed all this and we pointed it out. We, we pointed out from the 1960s that we must go back to the politics of the economics and the politics 
of wealth creation. This is the politics of the NRM. We always tell the people, all of you, be wealth creators. The same GNTV Atov. For that report, and in another news, Lord Mayor Mbarra City, Honorable Kachebis Robert Mugabe, urged all Mbarra City businessmen and women to join hands in the upcoming Mbarra City Festival 2024. I, th that will take place on the day of 21st and 22nd of June 2024. Robert Mugabe said these are the launch of the festival, a meeting that happened to take place at Las Vegas Hotel in Barra City. Our reporter Zaya has more. <laughs> Nitwara umushamhango erizoberi ibyo biro 20 na na mwenda umukwezi kwa kabiri ukulonchinga mbara site festival eri kuzakuzaho ibiro 20 abiri na kimwe na abiri na bibiri umukwezo kwa mukaga umwako mbwenu ndiyo nintera ho signature rugogoma Since <laughs> 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 And we think it is now a cause of collective effort to make it better than what we did in the 2023. At the city festival, to me and the group that I represent is good. One, Marara City is a source city for the whole of and praise our religion. And actually, the whole of Western region of Uganda, including the countries that are neighboring us. So doing this activity means we are trying to put Barara City on light. I'm by the name Akia Sharin. I'm representing URSB. Thank you, the organizers, Barra City Festival, for inviting us to be part of this. Uh, we, we, I've heard people talking about businesses, investors. You cannot talk about all this without formalizing businesses. So as a registration body that is mandated to register businesses and companies, we welcome the public to come and register their businesses so that they can fully compete, not only on a regional level, but also on, in, on an international level. As you can see, this has opened Mbara to an international level where, we, where investors are going to come in and are interested in these organizations. So they would like to find when the companies are established. So I urge you to come and formalize your businesses Come and be part of this Mbara City Festival with pride and also enjoy the business community. Thank you. And uh, this festival is aimed at marketing Mbara City as a regional trade and hospitality hub. Uh, as, uh, as you know, Barara City stands in the middle of a number of countries. You know, Tanzania is just a few kilometers from here. And actually, I am told most of the people from Tanzania, this is not the Tanzania, they are always here. We have Burundi, we have Rwanda, we have DRC, they are all in the midst. And of course, Baradi 
the most developed and the only regional city here, then there is a lot of potential that we need to market and ensure that Barara takes advantage of all of that. Uh, the, so that strategic location boosts the economic opportunities situated uh, roses to the, of course I've already talked about the Democratic Republic of Congo and all these other neighboring countries, but also our hinterland, our hinterland here. Also very important, it be very much important. Welcome to Barra as you are from Kampara, Hari Arzanga. That is what we need to look at in town black and the speaker as we promote our city to higher heights. We had only one radio station by then here in Barara. How many radio stations do we have? There are very many now. TV came, other TVs are also here now. The rate at which we are developing is high. What we need is to have settled demands, combined efforts in terms of thinking, and contributing towards development. Echi gender wa chechi, nuku jirangu, itwe nkaba nyambara, na munonga, abuste yitu, eru jaha gati, eru kukwata, ombichwe kebitari mwena mwe, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, and Congo, ni tuendangu tubusti nje, yobugusi, yama gusi. Kujirangu wa katari kebi ntugito monubara siti, kaba seku shohora na hili ya yuga. Kanda na naba inebi ntu evili ya hili ya yuga na Karwanda, na mwena na Tanzania, ni tuentubasa kwa ntu ya chira umpa. Sete ejene ya rujoni, na wecho uri yungwe na ntumweta, kande ntujirangu ajije, evilevyo, haba seku shome rwa mitwe, evilevyo na timwe, nebirabe na wili yopezo wika. Kuwanza, uguiro uko kwa wali yonu wika, ntujia kwa tukion preparation, zinkeri izo, ichoni chumwe, echa kandi, ntujia kwa turumu, tuine ebinda activity, zezi indes tuku ya kora nkai izo wili yonu yonu. Tuine muu okereza eshagama, tuine wabe shongozi, tuine ho, ukuro zingengu utezi mwe, ujirangu waba antuba ba seku kora, ba zaheru ba rebi ntujiabo, mbenu kabaka tarekama zoba habili, ba taruku shora mshoro, atino rukuma kwa ata ho, zobe rigo nizo variyabu. Okushemi rugu wano kushakuza, kujirangu haba antubitu, baba sakupata asenti. Kani ntuetana na haba antubara kurga heri, ukisha kujumu. Nchiza kumanisati. Nchiza kumanisati nchango, kujirangu na na, umusite, haba antubitu habi nje mbisha kurara mu, mbisha kuri ya mwebio kuri ya, mbisha kuri ya mbisha kuri ya, 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 mbisha we appreciate your desire for that report. And then another news the Rwanda orphans and vulnerable children living with HIV stroke AIDS together with their leaders have raised their concerns about the inadequate supervision and monitoring of the national government activities by local government. Amos Tugumisilize, the executive director, has asked the government and the national government organizations to keep on helping the orphans living with HIV stroke AIDS in Rwanda district and the country at large. Let's take a look. Some of the challenges is the executive director of Chigazi Orphans and Vulnerable Children Living with HIV Stroke AIDS expressed concerns about the inadequate monitoring and supervision of NGO activities by local governments. Speaking at a Chuya Eco reception campsite in Karejera Paris in Muko Sub County, Tugmisirize highlighted the significant impact this issue has the this issue has on long-term success and sustainability of projects. That's why we urge the government, the local leaders and the government to support us and work with us in, in, in constant monitoring, supervision of these projects. Because if the RC1 and the other RCs and the sub-county CDOs, the community development officer, 
neglect our project, we shall not achieve. So we call upon them to work with us and we keep monitoring wherever a Kadura staff is not there, the chairman is one there, the LCs, the councillors and the CDOs, we keep monitoring to make sure the, the projects we are giving to marginalized developer communities are sustainable and have developed this community. During the distribution of beekeeping items and sewing materials donated by Chigezi orphans and vulnerable children living with HIV in partnership with 30 Worldwide Foundation, Tubatwa and Bachiga, affected by COVID-19. Main purpose why we are here today was to distribute sewing machines items and reusable parts items, then and beekeeping, equipping beekeepers, the Batwa and the Bachiga with tools and items to do beekeeping project boost them more for sustainable income. Missiles emphasized the challenges NGOs face in improving community livelihood, livelihoods with collaborative monitoring. He cited an example from 2019 when he organized the distribution of 170 sheep to battle groups, revealing reduction in numbers to 92 due to insufficient supervision. Missiles attributed the struggle with monitoring to lack of resources stating that NGOs operate in limited budgets, hindering their ability to identify and address challenges. As Kadora, we have been having a challenge of distributing items and tools to the Batwa groups and they sell them off. Especially we have been giving them the ship. Like from previous years, we distributed 170 sheep but per now as of 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 feb now 2014 2024 we only remain they are only remaining 92 sheep reason the mindset the mindset of these batwa is it has been because they have been giving them the sheep free they think if they sell them off or if they eat it they'll bring another one so we are trying to modify to to change the the approach of of dealing with them of su supporting the marginalized people the batwa and the nun he stressed the importance of aligning ngo efforts with national development plan emphasizing the need for activity involvement of local governments in project supervision because we found out that after distributing free things to the batwa their neighbors uh, convince them and buy the sewing machines buy the sheep take away all the clothes that we give them so we have changed the approach we give you a ship a, 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 a loan project in a sort of sewing machine we are training them in sewing machines in making beehives and taking them in the forest so that they can start earning their income from their sweat using their hand and using their natural knowledge their skill at hand so it will it will create an ownership for them to keep the project going and sustainable in response the Rwanda district LOC 5 chairperson Stephen Ampire Kasiava acknowledged the government's efforts to strengthen collaboration with NGOs for enhanced social service delivery. Kasiaba highlighted the potential of this partnership to improve primary health care, water and education. This is part of transforming them and on how they can even generate income. I want to thank Kadola for having taken this initiative of giving them equipment. For, for instance, it has given out to sewing machines to the young girls. It has given out harvesting equipment for honey. Now this is part of transforming them from one level to another. The girls will be able to earn an income, 1,000 per day or 2,000 per day and on the sewing machine. That's income. What I've encouraged them, I've told them to be in groups so that they can even save. For those who are harvesting honey, I think these equipments will help them get clean honey and add value on the honey. What they need is money. We, the, the cleanness of your honey will determine its own price. So I'm very, very happy about Kadora 
for having taken up this initiative of supporting our community. He identified poor institutional development in Uganda as results of inadequate collaboration between the government and other actors, including non-governmental organizations. Uh, for us, government, we do not have a particular program for a particular group. What we have is for all Ugandans. So, but uh, we appreciate and we thank these non-governmental organizations that are coming up to support our communities, the minority communities of the Batwa. I want to call upon the Batwa people, the Batwa communities, that they should guard on these, guard their equipment, use them properly, because it's meant to help them move from one level of life to another level. The call for improved collaboration and monitoring mechanism resonates a crucial step towards achieving sustainable development goals in the region. For GNTV at 12, Clinton Nawi in Chigezi sub-region. Thank you, Clinton Nahawe, for that report from Rwanda District. And in another news, the Speaker of Parliament, Honorable Anita Anit Among, promised the Kampala Capital City Authority casual workers that their salary areas will be paid, even the NSSF fee will surely get paid. Yesterday afternoon, over 100 workers stormed Parliament's main entrance and blocked the way to Parliament. Let's take a look. Ministers, legislators and other officials yesterday were forced to use the parliamentary exit route to access the house as hundreds of Kampala Capital State Authority casual workers blocked the entrance in protest over their unpaid salaries and wages for five months. <laughs> The group comprising largely of charged elderly women, accompanied by few men armed with precards, descended from the neighboring city hall in Kampara and stormed the parliament's entrance, demanding a way through to petition the speaker on the number of issues, which among others include unpaid salaries, unpaid NSSF, and threats to terminate their contracts by authority leaders. <laughs> The 2 p.m. scaffold between the casual workers and the parliamentary police compared the speaker and Anit Among abandoned her day's agenda to come out to address the angry workers who broke the busy parliamentary avenue for at least two hours. Flanked by the Kampala Central Member of Parliament, Honorable Mohammed Nsereko, and Kampala's Woman Member of Parliament, Ms. Shamim Marinde, the speaker urged the protesters to come down as the city leaders process the payment of their salaries. I want to request you that as we plan, as we make an order to the Lord Mayor and the leadership of KCCA to make sure that you are paid, please make sure you don't block any road, but you are all going to be paid. <laughs> and we are going to make sure all your contracts are renewed. Era agenda kulaba nga endagano za mwe eze milimu zidibwa bujja mbagirawo I want you people to leave live here knowing you're going to be paid for the work you have done Abategezeza nti abakakasa Nti muve, we muna hamu vude wano muve wonga mchima nti muge nda kusasura kubachi no chila gilo cha parliament E chita menyebwa I am going to summon the leadership of KCCA The minister of finance All the MPs of Kampala For a meeting on Tuesday In the morning for you to be paid Agenda kuita For now I am going to give the Lord Mayor to make a confirmation that they are going to come and we discuss on the issues of your payment.
era no kubaka kasa mtinge gwanga mumatifu nyono muli mugwe muko honare boshami marende also said that these casual workers are parents and they have other responsibilities they need money Therefore, they ask the government of Uganda to pay them so that they can fend for their families and also meet their basic needs. The group further declared the major payments with the majority earning between 160,000 and 180,000 per month, which they say was not sufficient given the skyrocketing costs of living in the country. Directors comment on the matter were in vain as her known telephone contacts were off. 
Festival, GNTV, Atov. Thank you, Desire, for that report. And as GNTV, we still remind you of the consecration ceremony of Dr. Bishop Silas Taewa as the regional overseer of Ankole region and the orientation day will take place on 3rd of April 2024. Then the consecration day will be on 4th of April 2024 and this will start at 8.30 a.m. The venue will be Kamkuzi district grounds. Then the guest of Anna is the first lady of Uganda, Mama Janet Kataham Seveni, then other guests we have Honorable Chris Badiomusi for ICT and other members of Parliament, the Archbishop Dr. Moses Odong, National Elders, and many more. You are all welcome. Easter Bonanza, arise your business. Record a one minute video of yourself talking about your business in your business. Send your video to the number below, call the number below, and finalize that transaction. Pay for two adverts and get one free. Watch and spot if your adverts are running or being played on the agreed time. This call. Call on 0700420903. This runs from 1st of March to 31st of March 2024. Then you can reach us on GNTV channels like GoTV822, that is Central Region. Start times on 292 on Antenna Free to Air Decoder on channel 2022 channel 22 countrywide then gntv mobile app and all social media platforms like youtube on gntv 2020 tiktok U gntv uganda facebook gntv uganda official instagram gntv uganda official and twitter on gntv official our dear viewers of gntv that's all we had for today and thanks for being part of us from the time we started to the time we are coming to the end of our today's bulletin i'm aliana tubandize gntv at 12 and up next is a lunch hour service at King of Kings Church. Please come and attend. Good afternoon.